So, putting your leg up like this kind of helps expose the muscle a bit more so you can get the foam roller in a bit deeper, so to speak. Let's hold that for 30 seconds if you find any sore spots. And you can do a bit of friction work on that afterwards as well by rolling it back and forth. And then, you down to your calves. And then one at a time, try and, again, any tight spots, any knots, hold it. 30 seconds. Once you've done that, any knots, hold it for 30 seconds. Once you've done that phase, try and roll it up so any toxins in your legs, you roll them back up so they can be dispersed through your body, however that works. So, from bottom to top, roll down. Get your Venus return going, and then do the same again. Oh, my calves are terrible. Tightness. And then obviously, switch over, do the same, find your knots. Hold for 30 seconds. And then, do the bit for a Venus return. Where you rolling it, bottom to top. And come back again. Roll it, bottom to top. Switch around a bit, so... You're doing different parts of the calf muscle. Hold that up. Same thing on the hamstrings. I sometimes get. If I've got a, a kettlebell plastic one about, give some extra weight, give a bit more pressure, but for recovery, just keep it without any extra weight. Just do it all the way, so from just above your knee. All the way up to your bum, and again, all of it if they not. And the IT band, which is a killer. <laughs> same thing, exactly the same thing. Any lumps or knots, hold it. And this one is one that really gets me is you're kind of focusing on your lats. So you're on your side. Uh, just there. Oh, I get really tight. And then hold it for 10. When you're doing your back, try not to roll over your spine to keep yourself on your side a little bit. Right, Ted. Uh, on your back again, if you want to put a bit more pressure, your feet up on something. I, mean, I can feel it a bit more if I do it without the top on. I'm going to scare you with that one. No. Towards the end of the game, so once you lift your arm out, do it. So you get in around where your neck is. Just below the base of your neck. So you're up a trap. That kind of area. And then finish with a few stretches. So you stretch your chest this way. And then ideally hold that for about a minute. And then turn it perpendicular or horizontal to your body. And try and reach to the ground. Stretching that way as well. See your chest. And then for lower back and glutes. This old chestnut. And you come across. Ted, could, could you leave a front? No, no, no. And then the other side. And then, just finally, a few hamstring stretches. This one being the, the one that's kind of approved and doesn't compress your lower back. So, that helps. I'll do that the day after. A brilliant Brazilian Jiu Jitsu session because my recovery is terrible and that does help a little bit. Another few tips for recovery, eat loads of turmeric or turmeric, I don't know how you say it, I've, add that to your protein drinks if you have protein drinks, with some black pepper, um, plenty of fish oil and pineapple is good as well for reducing inflammation.